And the first game on the list this month is I Expect You To Die 2. This is the follow-up to the very popular I Expect You To Die number one. In this game you are a super spy tasked with gathering intelligence and surviving various dangerous situations. Basically a very high octane, very dangerous escape room. Your main objective in this game is basically just not to die. This game features more of what made the first game great, but bigger and better. The game has six new missions, a new storyline to play through, and various new disguises to dress up as to gather intelligence. The first game had a great sense of humor and very fun gameplay, and this game promises more of that, so it'll definitely be a good one. The game will launch August 21st, 2021 on PC VR, PlayStation VR, and Oculus Quest. And the second game on this list is D-Magneed VR, or D-Magneed, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is a VR puzzle game. This is a VR puzzle game fully based on magnetic powers. In this game you explore deeper and deeper into a dungeon, discovering the story along the way and discovering more uses for your magnetic powers each level you pass. All the interaction is fully physics based, which is perfect for VR. This game uses a very clever magnetic control system, it's not just picking stuff up and pulling stuff towards you like in a lot of other games you can also combine things and, and bounce things off each other it's, it definitely looks really really cool and I'm, I'm actually kind of want to try it out this is definitely a very original take on a vr puzzle game and vr like control systems as a whole this game is out now on pc vr and playstation vr and next we have Super Raft Boat VR, which is a VR roguelike shooter, but everything is fully on a raft. In this game the world has been completely flooded and all you have left is your trusty revolver and a small raft to float around on. The goal of the game is to survive hordes and hordes of sea monsters and to reach the only remaining island left. And the more you play the game, the bigger your raft gets and the further you will also get, the more powerful you get, which is how a roguelike works. So expect lots of dying, but some nice progression as well, as each iteration you do get stronger. The game features four unlockable weapons for your arsenal, different environments to travel through with different monsters in each. And the game also has for replayability uh, a loop function. So if you reach the island in the end and you are feeling very ballsy, you can uh, keep going and, and try and get even further than that to uh, basically basically just get the highest score possible. And another fun thing about this game is that it's completely free and the game will launch August 4th, 2021 on PC VR. And up next is something I haven't really seen before. This is Down and Out, which is best described as a VR beat em up game. In this game, you are a broke street fighter in a big gritty city. You can explore the open world and complete quests to progress the story and punch your way to reputation and riches. The game features various quest types and activities, including side quests such as basketball and cycling, where you want to take a break from all the violence you are committing. The game has a very fleshed out melee combat system completely built from the ground up for virtual reality and a gritty open world to explore. The game also has various enemy types with different weak points that require different tactics to defeat. The game definitely looks very original and I definitely want to see more open world VR games in the sort of Grand Theft Auto-esque style in virtual reality. The game is coming out somewhere in August on PC VR, PlayStation VR and Oculus Quest. And coming in at number 5 we have Seeker My Shadow, which is a very adorable looking puzzle game. Now it's a little bit different than most VR puzzle games which are first person. Uh, in this game you play as a gigantic spirit to guide Kippo, a small adventurer, through various levels. Basically he's a tiny little dude and he's in a tiny little world and you're very big and your actions can influence the world he's in and by solving puzzles you uh, progress him through the level. Pretty like understandable stuff. The game features a cute story based campaign with various different levels and various different fields and various different characters to meet. And what I also really like about this game is that you can play it single player as well as co-op. The co-op in this game is asymmetric so one person plays in VR while the other plays on PC which definitely could be very fun. This game will launch August 12th 2021 on PC VR. And fittingly, at number 6, because it's a little bit of a demonic game, we have Everslot, which is a game that I am pretty excited about. This is basically Doom 
for VR built from the ground up. In this game you explore randomly generated dungeons for loot while you slaughter demons along the way. Sounds pretty simple right? Yes, but in this game it lets you fly around with completely unrestricted movement and kill demons with eye watering pace. Using an arsenal of weapons that all have various strengths and weaknesses, switching between them is vital for survival. Cleverly combining various weapon types while you fly around the dungeon gives you the upper hand in combat which makes this game have some extra depth as well. Using the loot you gather to upgrade your armor and weapons also makes this sort of into a VR action RPG. The control system is really clever and allows the gameplay to flow super well and it's basically everything Doom VFR tried to be a while ago but it fell short and they, these guys have clearly figured it out and it seems to play really really smoothly. The game is in early access right now and I'm very excited to see what the future brings for this title. It is only available currently on PC VR. And up next is Vengeful Rides, which is another VR RPG game, but this is more of a story-based RPG game with a ton of different elements. In this game, you set off on a journey to defeat the evil Dragor, which apparently is the main villain, what I can understand from this. Anyways, uh, along the way you discover various worlds and meet various characters. You can solve puzzles, defeat enemies, kill bosses, gather loot, upgrade your gear and learn new spells along the way. You can play this game how you like, like any RPG should be. You can play uh, whether with a sword, archery or magic, whichever takes your fancy. The game is fully built for VR, so all the interactions are centered around it, which is definitely the best way uh, to do these type of things. The game also has a very pretty cartoon art style, which I am very much a fan of. The game is out right now and currently only on PC VR. And up next is a game that got a surprising amount of hype, it is Cooking Simulator VR. And as the name suggests, this game is about cooking. In this game you run a restaurant kitchen and can complete over 80 different recipes. The game uses realistic physics for interaction, so it is perfect for virtual reality. Slice, dice and cook your way to culinary fame. The game has deep and realistic cooking mechanics with various options per ingredient leading to varied cooking options. The game also features a points and perks system with levels so you can level up as a chef and uh, unlock new tools, kitchens so you can uh, be more efficient and cook more dishes. And especially for virtual reality the game now also has slow motion so you can ninja chop your veggies in matrix style if you so please. Honestly the game seems very fun and you know I'm not much of a fan of cooking I really prefer eating so that's definitely a good thing. The game is out right now and currently only on PC VR but a quest version is probably soon to follow. And at number 9 is another game that simulates a rather normal activity. This is Vermilion, which is a VR painting simulator. In this game you can master the art of oil painting fully in virtual reality. You can mix colors on your palette as you would in real life. You can grab a clean canvas and project an image on there to trace or just fully work from scratch or from memory. The game has deep painting mechanics allowing you to mix colors on the canvas as well or paint over them if they have already dried just like in real life. There is also a wide variety of paintbrushes to choose from, all with different effects to unleash your inner virtual Bob Ross. The game honestly seems really fun and I never thought we'd see something like this in VR but I guess this is a thing that people want and that this is a thing that people make so that's definitely pretty cool. The game is out right now and only on PC VR. And finally at number 10 we have Stride which is a game that is already out on PC but on August 5th it will also make its way over to the Oculus Quest. Now Stride is best summed up as VR Mirror's Edge. In this game you move around the city using your parkour skills in virtual reality. You can grab ledges, you can wall run, you can use zip lines, you can climb fences but you aren't completely safe however. An army of goons hunt you down wherever you go and you can use your parkour techniques to get the upper hand and either this arm or dispose of them let's say and I think that the extra freedom the Oculus Quest offers will definitely come in handy while playing this game and again this game is launching August 5th on Oculus Quest and it is already out on PC VR may that take your fancy and that was the list for this month again I definitely hope you enjoyed watching please leave a like comment and subscribe if you did and also if you didn't and maybe if I missed something leave it down in the comments below as well and maybe I'll take a look at it next month or maybe I'll just review it on the channel like a normal game if it's if it's already out that is but yeah I'll definitely be trying to do some more content the coming weeks as I am now fully done with school I am a graduated boy which I'm definitely very happy with now I can fill my free time with playing video games and playing VR games and making videos on VR games which I also really enjoy doing but yes thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye